just casually moving the goalpost. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Come on, Barry. Come on, Barry. Come on, Barry. Come on, Barry. Bunch of happy cows. Cows? cows. It, okay, well, they cows come. in America include all versions. <laughs> no, they come. That's one word you won't shorten. Australia, they call these yabbies, the crawfish, found inside a trough. They get everywhere, don't you, buddy? So I'm back in uh, Richmond. Had a night out at the pub last night and spent the night here. Instead of driving, I realize there's this little water park and it looks like you just press that button and it activates and you get a water park for some amount of time. Australia, they're pretty crazy about their water consumption, but got the lake right here. It probably takes water from the lake and then drains right back in. So I think that's why you can have instant water park access. That's pretty cool. And apparently the lake is man-made. This is the whole process of it being built. 2002. Look at that. I have found the local junkyard here. Very small compared to the first station. We've got an ancient Toyota Land Cruiser here. Honestly, it could even be an FJ Cruiser for all I know. Wow, not much going on. Low tech. Oh, so that's that logo again, the mystery logo from Bulgogna. I guess it is, uh, Toyota brand. Oh, you know what? I bet this is one of those vehicles with front wheel drive where you just, you can cut the whole back off and you just drag it around and you only need the drive wheels up front. Just have to relocate the fuel tank, of course. Then, uh, got an old sedan here. And an old wagon over here. Oh, and I think that's the back of the Land Cruiser. Looks like those two are identical, and maybe that's another one on top. Nah, different type of car. Cool. And a tiny little tractor thing. Whoa! I don't know if those were hornets or beetles that just flew out of that tree. Don't want to get stung by anything here in Australia, especially at North here, it'll probably be killing you. Cool. And springs and shocks for days. <laughs> since my last little uh, extra sweeping floor without actually touching it thing, I've been paying more attention to the extras in movies and TV shows. 
So I got some comments to make on this. This is the first episode of The Book of Boba Fett. Got one of those people on stilts in the background. And here we've got the robot dogs from Boston Dynamics. They uh, put on a little shell to make them look more Star Wars-like, but those are actually autonomous robots. Electric chainsaw. <laughs> The uh, whole video situation from the last station has got me a bit more paranoid about what I video and what I don't, which is why you haven't seen much from this station yet. I might be getting more comfortable with it. I mean, I just did a video of using a chainsaw with no, I didn't even have my glasses on. <laughs> no protection. That's another thing I gotta watch out for is if it looks like it's violating health and safety regulations and you gotta be careful where you're posted. Right now we're doing working on a project we're putting in these posts. We're gonna have a roof go over the whole thing and a carport out the other end. So we're digging holes. I was cutting these beams. So that's the project we're doing now. I haven't done any mustering yet. They don't have helmets here which I'm all for being comfortable and whatnot but dirt bikes is something I don't mess with when it comes to safety. So I put in an order for one. It might be getting in the mail too late because I'm going, I think, further south this weekend to another place uh, where they have some cows and we'll be spending the whole weekend down there doing some mustering and whatnot. So I'll have to figure something out. It'll be here for me when I get back if it doesn't come earlier than that. So next up uh, for this project is found in these holes with concrete. What I've been mostly doing is spraying weeds, which is miserable. It is very hot up here. I mean, it's not the hottest I've experienced, but still very hot in the mid nineties every day. And just bushwhacking these prickly bushes covered in spiders. Fortunately, they're all versions of the orb weaver, so they're not harmful to humans. I just getting diesel because that's the base of the uh, spray because it's oily it sticks to the plants longer it doesn't wash off easily so it's just like diesel gets everywhere the terrain is quite rough out here they had a storm go through back in 2019 washed out probably the height of my hand that much topsoil and so where the grass patches are they're just like bulges in the ground practically boulders just a little bit softer and so i'm on the four-wheeler i'm going all over the place i'll get a video of that eventually strap a gopro to that i'll be building some cattle yards at one of their other properties i went over there the other day pulled a bunch of panels off the truck that would have been fun to get video of we were doing some pretty sketchy stuff to get those panels off the truck because the way they packed them they used a massive machine to put them on the truck and they had a little backhoe with forks on it at the other property. So we had to get creative with how we unloaded stuff, but it all worked out. The food thing is really weird here. It's not consistent at all. When you get up in the morning, you don't eat at all. You can get like tea or coffee, that's what most do. I didn't have breakfast till like 10.30 today. Hey, here comes the material for the cement.